We've spoken with a number of Navy SEALs on the podcast. One of them sent us this video that we would like to share with you. It has a couple of great points in it. It's really a short video, so let's watch it together and then we'll discuss it on the back end. One of my techniques that I always tell people, it's like, well, how'd you make it? I would get up at, you know, whatever it was, 4.35 in the morning, and I know, well, breakfast is at 6.30. So whatever they got for me between now and then, I'm just gonna get to breakfast. And I know when I get to breakfast, I'll get half an hour to kind of reset and get my mind right, get warm. And I know lunch is around 11.30. I don't even need to watch. It's training, so I know they have to feed me. And so I would just go to lunch. And then from lunchtime, I'd make it to dinner because I knew dinner was at 5.30. And then, you know, pretty much after that, they left you alone and you got to go back to barracks. And I kind of made a ritual of it. Every single day that I walked back to the barracks, I stood there in front of this barracks, there on the beach of Buds, hearing the waves crash and shivering because you're freezing and all that. And I'd stand there, I'd say to myself, you know, day number 18, and I'm still here. And I did that every single day, you know, day 215, and I'm still here. And I did that all the way for the entire length of training. And that just happened to be my personal method of, of taking it. So that's my technique, meal to meal. Like going meal to meal is such a great example of taking a big challenge and breaking it up into bite-sized, more manageable moments. That's right, and uh, psychologists Adam Alter and Jonathan Adler speak about bracketing. In other words, taking a long story and placing parentheses, so to speak, to make each segment a story in itself, making smaller, achievable goals. That's right, and Adam Alter goes on to talk about giving yourself like a small reward at the end of each small segment. Mm -hmm. in, this is, in this instance, the reward was obviously food. He was also noting at the end of each day that he had survived another full day. Absolutely, and, and uh, uh, Stu Smith, who's a former Navy SEAL and trains others to make it through a uh, very challenging special forces selection process, calls it shortening the tunnel. In other words, if you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, just shorten that tunnel. And it doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you can take difficult, big goals and break it into smaller parts. Absolutely, and you know he, he didn't mention it, but it's also really important to have figured out your why before engaging in any really difficult task. It's the why that's going to sustain you as you break up your big tasks as well. Absolutely. And if you think of it as smaller challenges and goals allow you for consistency and staying power. And consistency is what achieves the larger goals. Nice. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.